there, Bionicle fans! Welcome back to another review by Lord of Bionicles. Okay, uh, there's a discussion that I want to bring up today, and so I would like to really know what you guys think about it. So, hear me out. Let me ask you guys a question. So, uh, can Toa Hordika use mass powers? If you're a Bionicle fan, you're just gonna answer no, straight out, right? Because, I mean, you know, in 2005, that's what we were told, and that's what we accepted, you know? But, uh, the discussion I want to bring up today is, is that really the truth? Uh, can Toa Hordika really not use mass powers? Because, I mean, really, think about it. Give me an explanation for why that would be the reason. Because, honestly, it wasn't ever really touched upon. Um, and the explanation would be that uh, because Toa Hordika have... Uh, the, the, they are divided into two, right? They are half Toa, half, half Rahi, half Beast. So, they have, like, two different minds into one. Their bestial side and their rational side. Therefore, they cannot use mass powers because they cannot concentrate. That's the explanation, you know? But, really, don't you think that with enough training or with enough guidance they could just overcome their bestial side and then use mass powers once more? Because we saw at the end of Article 3 that they, the Tometru managed to make peace with their bestial side. Therefore, at that point in the story, they should have been able to regain their training of mass powers, you know? And, uh... Honestly, there was never really any more explanation of why they couldn't do it, you know? Uh, if you go to Makura's Guide to the Universe, they don't really explain any of that. Uh, if you go to Bionicle Rocky Beast, it doesn't explain anything about Hordika Venom. And the only mentioning that we have is in Bionicle Challenge of the Hordika, page 23, chapter 3, in which uh, Oniwa and Pooks are in Pometru, and then uh, Pooks is, 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 is lecturing... Uh, Toa Oniwa on, 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 their, on his Hordika side, and then he says, Well, that's easy. I use my Kanohi Mask of Mind Control on the Herd Leader and make them stampede. Pooks shook his head. Masks don't work for Hordika, Carver. Try again. And that is the only time this is brought up, and the only time it is mentioned. So, it was really easy for us fans and for the characters as well to just accept that as the truth. But, think about this. Do Norik and the rest of the Rohaga really know how Hordika Venom works? I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because if you watch the movie, uh, you believe that the Rohaga are also Hordika, because they never explain <laughs> what they really are, but they're not, you know? They were transformed by, by Rudaka's Rothuka Spinner, and therefore they cannot use mass powers. But their mutation is totally different from the Hordika, because Rudaka can decide what kind of powers you have when she mutates you. So, the Rohaga can definitely know these mass powers. But for Toa Hordika? No. I believe, I believe with enough training they can, you know? Because the only... Um, it has been explained in the BC Power, in the forums, it has, it, it has been stated by Greg. Uh, and maybe some books touch upon that, that the only training that you need for a mask is that you need to have uh, the right mental... I don't remember if it was mental stability, <laughs> but that could be mental stability, or basically you need to have uh, enough concentration, or, you, or your mind needs to be developed in a certain way. But uh, other than that, basically everybody in Bionicle, or at least every Bionicle being, can use mass powers. There are, there are characters that we, that we met that could use mass powers, and we just didn't see it. The Baraki. The Baraki could perfectly use mass powers. Maybe Karapur, uh, he would be on the only exception, because he has been really... Um, his mind has been really ruined by... Takadox's uh, power constantly being used on him. Um, the Baraka with enough training, I think they would be able to use mass powers as well. Uh, I mean, even Bison managed to use the Akanohi Olmag, you know? And also crazy characters like Karsani, he can use his Akanohi Olisi, no problem. So, uh, it's really only a matter of uh, a training that you, that you can go through and how much you can concentrate on, you know? Uh, I don't know if concentration can be measured, but I believe uh, the amount of concentration that you would need in order to trigger a mass power would be about the same concentration that you need to solve a math equation or to drive a car, you know? So I believe pretty much every biomechanical being could use a mass power. The only exception would be robots like the Borok, for example, the Exotoa or the Maxillus robots. I think they would, be, they would really be off the equation in here because they don't have minds. Uh, and even though even biomechanical characters have artificial intelligence, the biomechanical beings, they do have um, rationality, they are sentient, and they do have a consciousness, which robots do not. 
So, yeah, pretty much that was my question right here that I want to ask you guys. Uh, can Toa Hordika really not use mass powers, you know? Uh, because give me an explanation. Uh, out of what has been stated in books and media and what has been, and, 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 and based on how Balancol works and, and its logics, Really, give me a reason why Toa Hortica wouldn't be able to use mass powers, you know? So, okay, that was my video for today. I'm sorry I took too long to upload this, but okay, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make it up to you. So, that was all for today. Pretty quick video right here, and please let me know your comments, uh, leave them below, and I'll read them all. Thank you very much, and take care.